histogram was about analysis let us start image processing and point pixel operation which is the most widely used technique in image processing uh, within one or two lecture we will be using point pixel operation with histogram information and the results would be amazing hopefully a point pixel operation changes the pixel intensity value according to some function so function could be any function also called homogeneous operation now pixel intensity depends on the pixels previous intensity and the mapping function does not depend on pixel location and intensity of the neighboring pixels here is some uh, pictorial description like we have an input image and we have another output image we read each pixel one by one and then apply some operation and then save the pixel at same location in the output image so consider this mathematical expression s equal to 255 minus r it's a function between input and output where r is the uh, intensity of the input pixel and s is the intensity of the output pixel it's like x axis and y axis so for instance just ignore these blue lines just consider the red line it is a transformation between r and s where r is the intensity level of the input image and s is the intensity level of the output image now consider last slide of point pixel operation and this function as transformation then mathematically each pixel value will be subtract subtracted from 255 uh, based on this transformation we will read a pixel from the input image we sub we will subtract it from 255 and save the value in the output image this function is plotted in 2d as a straight line with slope minus 1 and uh, 255 as intercept it's like y is equal to 255 minus x if we consider x axis and y axis so far standard images we have total 256 gray levels i mean l equal to 256 then l minus 1 would be 255 so 255 over here and 255 over here so we have just plotted this equation s is equal to 255 minus r so considering all this mathematics but the most important thing in all this discussion is how the colors are mapped now let's take three to four values just to explain this concept of mapping say if the color is zero in the input image and that color zero will be subtracted from 255 and we will get 255 and that zero will be mapped at 255 zero is the black color and 255 is the white color so black color is mapped at white color and similarly if the value is say um 10 then substituting 10 over here we will get 245 so 10 will be mapped at 245 10 is a darker shade whereas 245 is a brighter shade and so on if the color in input image is 255 then substitute 255 over here and we will get zero so the white color is mapped at black color so it's like this this color is mapped at this this color is mapped at this location this color is mapped at this location and so on up to this value this color is mapped on this location and this is called negative of an image so here is a pseudo code for computing negative of an image uh, we need to have an array or need to load an image h of x y 
and then we have to initialize a 2d array g of x y of same size then within a nested loop um, loop over x and loop over y so we can access each pixel uh, within this nested loop so we are in fact just iterating over um, uh, rows and columns so 255 minus h of x y uh, 255 minus h of x y is saved at the same location x y in the g array here is the python code which is more or less same once again we have imported the modules numpy and the opencv module then we have loaded the image memo.tif once again this image is available um, in the google drive link and then uh, shape of the image I mean height and width of the image number of pixels in height and width uh, then we have converted this image to numpy array though this this is not required as opencv in fact uh, read images in open as uh, numpy images then we have a nested loop uh, over x and y and we are just subtracting each pixel from 255 and then saving it to the same location in another image nag image which is oh sorry this this is not in fact we are not converting this image to a numpy array in fact we are uh, initializing an empty array a numpy array of same size so neg underscore img is the negative of the image and we have in fact um, and then we displayed both the images so here is just a um, uh, view of the numpy array original image which are just random values between 0 and 255 Here is the output in fact original image and the negative of the image I mean negative useful for enhancing white or gray details embedded in dark regions of an image note how much clearer the tissues is in negative image of the mammogram below so the information hidden in black color is very clear in in fact an inverted image or negative image so this simple operation has helped radiologists and oncologists in early detection of breast cancer and may have saved many lives. Some homogeneous point operations like addition, we can add some integer value to each pixel. So like S is equal to R plus K, for example, R plus 20. Now just think what would be the effect of this addition or subtraction uh, of some integer value in each pixel on histogram. So definitely it would be like translating the histogram uh, in right direction or left direction. I mean towards uh, brighter shades or towards the darker shades. So simply adding an integer will be like uh, converting an image to a brighter image and similarly uh, subtracting um, an integer is like converting an image to a darker image multiplication by a number uh, multiplying each pixel with some number like multiplying by 2 or uh, similarly we can even multiply with uh, 0 0.2 or 0 0.5 numbers less than 1 so the effect of this multiplication would be like stretching the histogram or stretching the contrast range of the image or shrinking the contrast range of the image. So if we have a number greater than 1, um, that would in fact stretch the whole contrast range or histogram. And similarly, if we have a number, we are multiplying each pixel with uh, a number 
less than 1, a number between 0 and 1, then it will in fact shrink the histogram. Uh, similarly, we can have many real valued functions like exponential log 1 over x, x to the power k, uh, quantization of pixel values, like converting an 8 bit pixel to a 7 bit pixel, and similarly, global thresholding and gamma correction. We will discuss all these methods in detail later on. So transformation means transformation of pixel value, pixel color or intensity. We read each pixel, transform it and save it as the same at the same location. This is general, just another transformation. You have to make an idea how the colors are remapped considering values along x-axis and are the input values. Whereas the values along y-axis are the output values. So, uh, values less than R1, intensity values less than R1 are mapped to the zero or the dark value or the black value. And similarly, the values above R2 up to 255 are mapped to 255, are truncated, are saturated to 255. Whereas, the gray levels are intensity values between R1 and R2 are in fact mapped to the entire range through this transformation. It's like stretching this range to entire range. Darker values, brighter values. Now just consider uh, this image with only these gray levels and then consider this transformation. So this, this simple transformation can transform a low contrast image to a high contrast image because this transformation is a one-to-one -one mapping, monotonic one-to-one -one mapping. So it will not in fact uh, mix the gray levels. It, it, it will in fact uh, stretch the gray levels from a narrow range to a broader range. Thresholding to a binary image. This is a simple transformation. Uh, we have uh, input 0 to 255. We are in fact mapping half of the range to 0 and the above half range to 255 and here is the mathematical piecewise defined definition if the gray label in input image is less than 128 then place 0 at that place and if the gray label in input image is greater than 128 place 255 which is white so the same operation is applied on this image which is in fact purely dark and then some gray shades overall in this picture then the output is this so apparently this is very simple operation but sometimes say in some application we would like to detect circles or uh, lines um, then this operation really helps a lot then we we are not interested in fact the gray shades of the image we are in fact interested in shape of the image our object. So this thresholding or binarization or converting an image uh, to a binary image uh, could even be more intelligent like based on histogram. So we can this threshold of 128 is not hard and fast rule that we are in fact converting all the images like half of the gray levels to 0 and then half of the gray levels to 255. It could be like uh, foreground and background. In fact, histogram, most of the time, histogram uh, provides information about foreground and background with uh, two main uh, portions. So we can set histogram uh, threshold over here. And similarly, in some other images, this threshold could even be at different location.
so we can convert a foreground and background using information of foreground and background so let's discuss some other transformations initially we discussed uh, negative of the image and similarly you can have an identity transformation which in fact will not alter anything in the image and similarly we can have logarithmic log transformation or nth root transformation and similarly uh, nth power or inverse log or exponential transformation so once again it is more important how the colors are in fact mapped so we can discuss like uh, log or nth root so their effect is more or less same but with a little difference say for so, say in case of log transformation we are in fact mapping a narrow range of darker images to a wider range of gray levels whereas a wider range of bright images to a narrow range of um, bright images so it's like stretching uh, dark or stretching white and similarly power law um, or nth power or nth root in case of say exponential we are in fact similarly in case of uh, exponential or inverse log we are in fact uh, mapping a narrow range of bright images to a wider range of bright images here is the example so logarithmic transformation in fact maps narrow range of dark levels to wider range of colors whereas inverse log does the opposite transformation the general form of the log transformation is like this we have the input intensity level we just add one because uh, we do have a intensity level zero and the log of zero is minus infinity which is uh, in fact like nan in programming concept or computer concept so we add one in each pixel and then we take log and we multiply it with some scaling factor it could it could be one or anything so the new pixel value would be s so here is an image it's not in fact an image it's the uh, fourier transform or frequency transform of an image and uh, most of the time when we take fourier transform of an image we in fact manage an array of 2d with double all float values and most of the information in fact is hidden or embedded in black color so if we take log then that information will be um, more visible a power law transformation uh, it's like s is equal to c steric r to the power gamma where gamma is any number so it maps a narrow range of dark input values into a wider range of output values or vice versa so say if we consider this gamma this gamma is in fact mapping a narrow range of dark color to a wider range of uh, gray scales whereas a wider range of bright colors to a narrow range of bright colors and vice versa so it purely depends on the value of gamma if the value of gamma is greater than 1 so the transformation would be like an inverse effect so here is the python code for gamma transformation similarly we are in fact importing modules then we loaded the image Let's find out if once again this image will be available in google drive uh, using im read method and then we read the in fact dimension of the image then we initialize the gamma value and then we in fact initialize the uh, another array as an out for output image and then in a nested loop we are implementing the gamma function so gamma log these are the in fact uh, floating point operations and they can affect the dynamic range of the pixel value so it's better to first initiate 
um, normalize each pixel then take gamma and then once again multiply it to 255 or rescale to 255 then after for loop in fact in this nested, nested for loop uh, you will transform all the pixels of the input image and after transformation you can convert this image back to uint 8 type because standard images are in um, 8 bit pixel format 8 bits per 8 bits per pixel format so then we have displayed both the images original image and then the gamma corrected images here is the magnetic um, mri of the fractured human spine this is the original image here is the gamma transformation with gamma equal to 0 0.6 so the fracture is very clear uh, which is in fact hidden in the original uh, mri so and even gamma with 0 0.4 it's more brighter and 0 0.3 it is even more brighter so these transformations in fact help to to stretch in the dark region or, or information which is in fact hidden in the darker portion and similarly sometimes if the information is hidden in brighter portion we can use the different transformation here is the python task so you can use uh, this image which is in fact a gray image a seed is gray and then you have to implement this transformation in python uh, to get this image so it's like contrast stretching so it's a low contrast image whereas this one is a very good contrast image then you can convert this to a binary image so it's a binary image but with very good details so it's like a piecewise function you have three definitions one in this range one in this range and one in this range our minimum value is zero max is 255 but you can select uh, some gray levels at r1 and s1 r2 and s2 based on its histogram so that we, we are just considering that histogram is within range r1 and r2 and we are in fact mapping this range of r1 r2 to s1 and s2 a broader range of gray labels so here we will stop this lecture and see you in the next lecture